At 11.57 yesterday, we received a report of a man with a suitcase acting suspiciously on Clifton Suspension Bridge. Officers arrived at the bridge within 10 minutes of the call, but the man had already left the area, leaving the suitcase behind. A second suitcase was located nearby a short time later. Sadly, the suitcases contained human remains. An immediate search of the area was carried out by officers on the ground with the support of the National Police Air Service and His Majesty's Coast Guard, following the discovery of the suitcases. These searches remain ongoing. Our major crime investigation team has launched an investigation which involves specialist officers and staff from across our organisation. Our immediate priority is to locate the man who took the suitcases to the bridge, identify the deceased and inform their next of kin. We are releasing an image of a man that we are currently looking for. He is described as black with a beard. He was wearing a black Adidas baseball cap with a white motif, a black jacket with a motif on the chest and black trainers with thick white soles. He is also believed to be wearing or have been wearing a gold earring and was carrying a black backpack. Officers are currently working to track his movements through CCTV and I can confirm that we know he left in the direction of Lee Woods behind me. At this stage, we are not aware of any current risk he poses to the wider public. However, if anyone sees him, we advise them not to approach him and please do call 999 immediately. A forensic post-mortem examination is currently taking place and whilst we continue to examine the scene, Specialist investigators are working around the bridge and the surrounding area. As such, the bridge will remain closed whilst these inquiries are conducted. Initial inquiries have established the man with the suitcases was taken to the bridge in a taxi. This vehicle has been seized and the driver is helping us with our inquiries. This is a very disturbing incident and I fully recognise the concern it will cause for our communities. We currently have an increased presence of officers in the area and I encourage anyone who has any concerns to please do speak with one of the team. As soon as we have any new information that I can share, I will of course provide an update because I know so many unknowns in this situation will cause worry. Anyone with any information, no matter how insignificant you think that it is, please do contact us. There are two processes and ways in which you can get in touch, we are, which we are currently setting up. The first is online through our major incident public portal at mipp.police.uk or you can call the incident room direct on the two following numbers 0800 056 0944 or alternatively if you're calling from outside of the UK 0, uh, 0207 158 0010. I'm now happy to take some questions but remind anybody that um, if you do see the individual that we think, match the, you think matches the description, 999 please. Right. So, so at, at this time Rob, uh, at this time uh, a forensic post-mortem examination is currently underway um, so we cannot confirm any information because that is still ongoing. As soon as I have that information we will make sure that we share it. Can you confirm if it's one or two uh, At this time I can't confirm because that forensic post-mortem is underway and we will have that information and share it as soon as we do. Did the taxi driver pick the, pick the man you're interested in locally or was he... At this, at this stage, we are still working with the taxi driver who's helping us with inqu our inquiries and part of the investigation will be to understand that journey. Well, a lot of taxis now have CCTV in their And, and uh, I'm sure that that will form part of the investigation. Thank you so much. Um, have, have, have you got any sense of who this person might be? I.e. this engineer research, this, for instance, Jack O'Sullivan, potentially have you contacted this family so, to see whether or not this might be? So I understand that the parallels that might be made with, with Jack's case um, and we would uh, ask anybody to avoid any speculation at this time. What I can confirm is just because of the nature of the incident and the concerns that people may have and as you've, as you've pointed out there, a senior officer has been in contact with Jack's family to inform them of the incident but I can confirm at this time that no parallels are being actively drawn. 
So this is a very early stages in an investigation, um, so I can't comment on that um, one way or the other, I'm afraid. But as soon as I can, I will give you more. Do you have any numbers uh, in terms of officers involved in this, obviously a very significant manner, of this dangerous person? So in terms of specific numbers of officers involved, no, I don't have numbers to hand. However, we've got people from our neighbourhood policing team who were the officers you saw me speaking to a moment ago who are providing that reassurance on the scene and talking to individuals. We've got our major crime investigation team, which consists of police staff, investigators, detectives and the like, as well as specialist units. So there are a number of people working on this because I know it will cause concern and we want to find out what's happened as much as everybody else does. So Do we're putting resources. The, the identity of the man? At this time, without uh, the forensic post-mortem results, I cannot comment on that because, not truthfully, not vintage, I don't know. Sorry, the, man. the man we're looking for. Um, I know what I just shared with you in terms of that um, photograph. So, at this time, um, that his identity, we are still working out who that person is. And are there searches happening anywhere else in Bristol or, or otherwise? So I can't comment on that at this time because um, uh, we are still at very, very early stages of investigation trying to identify who the person was in that still and have those forensic post-mortems on, uh, on the, uh, uh, the suitcases. Can I, can I just ask you to clarify the sequence of events last night? Um, who, no, who notified, who called the police? Was it security staff? Who took that photo? Um, anything else you can say about the actual incident when they actually identified saw this man? Doing what you, you to do. So as you can imagine at the moment, the people that have, that have called us and the report that we've had will form part of the investigation and part of the evidential process. So at this time, I can't, I'm not going to disclose who made that call, but what I can say is at 11.57, we received a report that I've outlined there and that the, uh, the image that was taken, uh, we will also discuss the, the provenance of that in due course as part of the investigation. James. Um, yeah, because I missed some of your statements, so I probably you said this, but do you have any evidence to suggest whether this person might be getting harboured by other or if they're working alone or... Truthfully, at the moment, this is um, a very open investigation. We've got an open mind to all of the situations that could occur. Um, I, I can't confirm one way or another because we are, at the moment, still trying to identify um, the person in the still as well as um, identify uh, the remains in the uh, suitcases. Just a couple of questions, Paul, please. Presumably, excuse me, presumably you've had a chance to look at the cameras on the field. Not me personally, but we as the police, I presume, is part of, in fact, I'm confident that will be part of our investigation. So presumably you've got a fairly good idea of you know, the sequence of events. Yeah. Uh, can you give us a little, a little bit more detail about what those images yeah. show? So at this time, the investigators are, are, do, are doing that and, and they are putting together the, the time frame of what has happened um, and the inquiries that may come out of that. Um, and it's important that they are given the time to be able to establish those and establish that time frame. And we will come back to you when we are able to firm it up specifically for you, as well as potentially um, any inquiries that have come out the back of it that we may need your support on uh, later on as, uh, as media. But just specifically, did the, did the taxi arrive on the bridge from this side or from the Lee Woods side? Um, I don't have the answer to that at the moment, truthfully. Uh, not because we don't know, but I don't have the answer myself to that. Can I have one last question, question please? Particularly horrific discovery. How does it affect the officers in the and, I, and I'm grateful for you asking that question. Um, uh, it's uh, something that in a career I'm sure um, somebody would never even anticipate um, coming across as part of their duty. So um, I can't speak on behalf of them because I have